Hello, I'm the Wandering Newbie. Come from a record keeper. Today, we have actually the Onion Knight event for his. The introduction of his USBs, both of which are extremely powerful. One is very good for physical teams, one is very good for magic teams. But more than that, later in the full stream video, when I do a banner review. For now, we have fights, which are solely based around uh, World of Darkness. We're going to see a lot of World of Darkness fights tonight. This talking dog telling me that I am destroyed. Whereas I believe it is you, sir, who is destroyed. I'm not owned. So the Onion Knight USBs are fantastic because they are extremely, extremely not flashy. And in fact, look real awful. <laughs> Sage! <laughs> Their effects are fantastic, but I love just like he yells a sprite at you. I believe that is dog down already. Dog bottom, if you will. <laughs> In an extremely shitty NES sample voice. Here goes the boy. Oh, accurate. Yeah, the thing is, these USBs are fantastic for whatever type of team you want to run them on. Uh, the Sage one is super good for mage teams. It gives you quick cast and a stacking magic, uh, magic mind resistance buff, which is just gross. Well, I believe Dash was in the original Final Fantasy. God, these double casts. Dash was in the original Final Fantasy 3, but yes, Rafa, Ark, Ingus are uh, new. No. The <laughs> Unite does not have character traits, he's a blank slate. Uh, Final Fantasy's... <sighs> Outside of two, Final Fantasy's really didn't have a stories until four. Like, there is a story to three, but it's not, like, groundbreaking. Well, no, 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 that's what I said. Like, outside of two, Final Fantasy's in a story still for. Now, quite similarly, 
to the uh, the sage move. The uh, the ninja move is extremely the onion knight is going ninja, and then everybody goes fast. In hindsight, maybe I should have used the Roaming Warrior on not. Yeah. I'm not using anybody with celerity is the problem. So I wasn't gonna get much out of it anyway. Vigilance, and I've shown off each of the uh, the moves. I no longer have a need to not be buffing my mage. Yeah, really, Echidna isn't too scary. Echidna has a couple AoE spells, that's where, if you are not draw firing, and uh, if you aren't like that, but if you are draw firing and lore magic, uh, those are the only things that are actually going to do damage to you. But, uh,. And there was death, and that's Meteor. Let's see how much Meteor does. Proper magic resistance. Nothing's really too, too scary. Darkness, darkness. Have you heard the good news, the good word about darkness? I'm here to tell you, the viewer, about darkness. Dank. The dank dark boy, it's him, that's him. I know him, that's dark boy. Coffee over. That would have been a travesty. Like, actually, though. Hmm. Feels though those multi hit numbers could be higher. But probably because this boy has a a, uh, a resistant or er, a weakness, so he has higher defenses.
if you are worried enough about the damage that Armon is putting out with the AoE spells, it's probably worth it to invest in uh, elemental resist accessories and what have it if you have them. Uh, if not, just look to boosting your resistance. If you have a taunt, the only thing that's going to hit your other party members is, um, what's it called, uh, is those AoE spells. Are those AoEs. Grammar. Sorry, I'm still thinking about that. <laughs> and the fight goes on just long enough. That stuff wears off. Mostly that I'm going pretty defensively to deal with status effects and what have you. Whereas I could be being a bit more aggressive with Aidenus. So I am going for a bit more of an aggressive strategy here, uh, which could bite me in the butt. Uh, and what I mean by that is the fire breath that Salamander here has is piercing. That's what I'm sort of planning around, but apparently it also has a physical piercing attack, so... I'm not really going for a ton of physical reduction. And yeah, I'm just going to hope that that doesn't super come back to bite me. So far so good, the numbers seem pretty pretty much what I was expecting. Here's the fire breath. To thank you, resist accessories, for making that not hurt too much. Should be done with this snow spell. Ah, alright, so it's a transition attack. Which means all things considered. Doesn't do too much damage. Alright, that's an ultimate. Ultimates really haven't been too much of a threat for a couple weeks now. I'd say actually a couple months. But still probably really rough for newer players, all things considered.
Who the heck is Cloud? Cloud Darkness is the final boss from this game. <laughs> she bad. The jump between ultimates and ultimate bosses still catches me off guard a little bit. Double boss. Pluses don't exist anymore. Pluses are a mystery. An illusion. my thief boy. Now, things are going pretty well, but at any point she can easily bust out. She hasn't, like, used her magic yet, you know? Meanwhile, Cloud of Darkness here is revving up. Just holding up a holding up a finger. Just one sec. One second. Yeah, there we go. There's that damage. Uh, self healing is especially good for this fight uh, due to the amount of. Uh, AoE that comes out, but now that Cloud has fully revved, Whoa. okay, all right, Holy doesn't have that high of a multiplier on her, apparently. Not bad for a free spell. Oh boy. You're getting there, aren't you? Just... Oofa! Well, luckily, we'll finish her off before she, uh, <laughs> does the same to us. Mm, maybe. Maybe. Nope, we're good. We're strong. Get her, Cloud. Whew. That is some high damage on her. Was not expecting those spells to hit quite that hard. But yeah, she has a lot of AoE. Good to know. Pretty good starting things. Do that with you. Gonna blow the Weverin up. Protectka. Mug Bloodlust. Shot. And that's as much, uh, Mitigation is I can kind of get going before we build up to some soul breaks. Soul breaks will help a ton though. Hmm. Shalom, Odin. I see you brought your A game today.
briefly there, there was a good number. There was a really good number of damage done by that Onion Boy. Onion Boy knows what's up. Hoofa does not like Rasmo. Definitively has a bone to pick with Rasmo, apparently. Well, it's funny you should mention Zandatsuka. We should be hitting that Zondatsukan timer any second now. Called it. <laughs> yeah, Rasmo, hidden warrior, or hidden hero of the war. Your friend and mine, Rasmo. All right. Enough of this. Calm down. I will keep blowback in my pocket. So, you know, as predicted, uh... Odin is not a complex fight in any regard. Like, to say Odin was complex would be insulting to fights such as Rubicante and Seymour Om Ominous. This fight is extremely just. Hey, what's your numbers like? What are your debuffs like? Chardonnook. Chardonnook is a better example because Chardonnook is actually a well-designed fight. <laughs> Chardonnook is the safety dance. It is a slugfest, that's the better way of putting it. God, you're right. Ignis's sprite does look like Wesker. Ignis being the Coke Boy from, uh, from 15. Yeah, that's really it right there. Now, no. You may look at that and be like, hmm, Zanatsuken only doing 1k, but it's only doing 1k through wall, through multiple layers of mitigation. Oh, it just finishes with a piercing blow. Like, I believe his attack is reduced to like 30% of its original value right now, on top of everything else. Back at it again. Skillia. I invested this time in a power breakdown. Wait, no, I had a power breakdown last time. What am I saying? You know what I did invest in this time? Haste. 
Instead, I decided to slow my roll. Also, in hindsight, this might be rough. Because remember last time we had... Vaughn up top healing himself. See what happens. I do have a move in my pocket just in case things get a little too scary. But that will be last ditch effort. <laughs> yeah, what, what could possibly go wrong? Uh, the one nice thing is because I take off some of the limiters for said missions. Uh, the Cloud of Darkness will be dealing considerable more damage than she was during the original version of this fight, uh, due to the fact that she actually has a Synergy Staff on, and probably has about, I don't know, a hundred more magic? Probably more like 150. Yeah! Ingus not really doing as much as Vaughn, but that's to be expected. Vaughn had a 50% power booster going on top of the 30%. Yeah, those are more respectable numbers. It begins. Pain. Now, I might be able to push her into... Oh, nope, not before she gets an attack off. I say might be able to push her into her second phase, her final phase, where she will force cast a heal. But at the very least, should get arc a turn and saved. As it turns out, yeah, an instant protectka is still very good. Oh, uh oh. Yeah, she's fine. And this fight's done. Um, uh, might have actually been able to do that without the instant heal. That was more of a, uh, a gut reaction, like, ah, oh, save me. Um. Probably would have been fine. I blame this on my recent uh, foray into speedrunning, but I see this guy, and I just think of Duelhans from Mystic Quest. That's him, Duelhan.
Why isn't your lightning died? We're getting there. We're getting there with lightning. Ready for something. He's a cooking of something. Look at that. Look at that warrior boy. He's getting ready to unleash some real pain. Here he comes. Now the funny thing is, Vaughn up top it doesn't gain anything from history's truth at all. Everything he does is fucking instant at this point. The first on the Tukin. Here. <laughs> on turn, like, three. Fuck okay. it. Yeah. Odin. He kind of doesn't have any gimmicks. So, just suffers, suffers everything. I'm like a, th a third of the way there, soon. So, that's it for the Final Fantasy 3 event. Uh, next time, we're either having like the record dress event or maybe Type 0. I'm thinking Type 0. I think, I th I think Type 0 is going to be next because we're pretty sure 14 is going to be like the first week in January. So I think it's like Type-0 or the Dress Record event. Either way, I'll see you next time.